the finished work of Christ has accomplished everything necessary for our complete salvation. Everything. Nothing else to be done. 2 Corinthians 1.20, for all the promises of God, find their yes in him, in Jesus. That is why we utter the amen. We agree. Through him to the glory of God. All the promises and the covenants of God are fully and completely fulfilled in Jesus. There is nothing and nothing else, no one else who could complete them or fulfill them. And we enter into that now. We are included in Jesus, as is everyone else. 1 Corinthians 15, 21. For since by a man death came, Adam, by a man also came the resurrection of the dead, Jesus. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. All will receive life and all have received life. All do not know that life, but all have received it. Everyone is alive. Everyone is born from above. It is our ministry to help people understand that reality. It's all our ministry. We are all ambassadors of that amazing inclusion that we all have in Christ. So Adam's all is not more powerful and inclusive than Jesus's all. All died in Adam. All are made alive in Christ. And that thing is to give life. All have been given life. It's not something that will happen in the future. It's something which has already happened, which people will become aware of in their future. Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now, these are the usual Bible verses that are used um, when people are telling you, you you're not good enough and you need God. Now, the reality is, yes, all have outworked their lost identity and that lost identity is short of the glory God intended us to have in our identity. So all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now carry on, verse 24, being justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption, which is in Christ Jesus. So that all who have sinned and fall short of the glory of the God have been justified as a gift by his grace. All. Now, I never, ever saw that or never heard that preached. It will always stop with Romans 3, 23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And then Romans 6, 23. That was the two that went together that God has saved us. But all have sinned. And when we look at that, therefore, the all who have sinned are the all who have been justified. Another work that Jesus has done for us. All have lost their identity and all are justified as a free grace gift. Now, that is good news. And that is the full gospel message. You can't have one verse without the other because the same all applies. And it's both past tense. All have sinned and all have lost their identity and all have been justified as if they hadn't lost their identity. That's a legal term which justifies somebody so they're not guilty, effectively, innocent. Romans 5.18, for then, as through one transgression, Adam, there resulted condemnation to all men, even so, through one act of righteousness, there resulted justification of life to all men. Same all. Now, what does condemnation there mean? It's not what we think it means in that I'm condemned for eternity in hell. It is, I'm condemned to live a life of lost identity unless I know the truth of my justification. So most people are, can, are still living in a state of lost identity, a state of condemnation, if you like, a less than kind of life. But the same all are the same all who's been justified. Condemnation is continuing in the independence of lost identity. It's not a threat of punishment. It's a threat of if you carry on without Jesus, you're going to live a life which is much less than God ever intended. So the Greek word katakrino, often translated condemnation, actually means penalty and refers to remaining lost now, does not refer to being condemned and sent to some version of hell in the future. Now, look at this in another version, Romans 5.18 so then, as through one offence, the result was condemnation to all mankind. So all mankind were condemned to lost identity by choosing to walk in independence of God. 
So also through one act of righteousness, the result was justification of life to all mankind. It doesn't leave anybody out there. Condemnation is not future punishment, but the penalty or consequence of living in lost identity to live a lesser kind of life now. This is a, a present understanding of our experience if we're not living it in relationship with God in the rest of love, joy and peace. OK, some of the things that Jesus said about all. John 17, 2, just as you gave him authority over all mankind so that to all whom you have given him he may give eternal life and this is eternal life that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent so god gave him jesus authority over all mankind the same all mankind who were condemned in lost identity and the same all mankind who would be made righteous and justified so to all whom you have given him and that's all mankind because it just says that he's given him authority over all mankind to all you have given him he may give eternal life now people will separate those two alls well yes he has authority over all mankind but he's not giving him everybody no the same all all mankind he has given to him and therefore that he may give eternal life to all mankind again good news and that is to know him to know the reality of who he is, to know his unconditional love, to know that he's limitless grace and triumphant mercy. Colossians 1.15, he is the image of the invisible God. Again, Jesus, the firstborn of all creation. For by him, all things were created, both in the heavens and on the earth, visible, invisible, thrones, dominions, rulers, authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. Verse 17, he is before all things and in him all things hold together. And that is the inclusive all. Nothing left out of that all. Verse 19, it was the father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him. Verse 20, and through him to reconcile all things to himself, whether things on earth, things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Now, this is what he did to all. He's reconciled all. And everything that he created, he has reconciled. And that is not just people. That is everything that he created. If you go back and you look at where it started, he's talking about creation. He's talking about all things that were created. And therefore, the same all things apply in this thing. Now, Jesus talked a lot in an inclusive manner. John 1, 7, he came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him. And that's talking about John the Baptist. And Jesus was the light. So all might believe through him. All. John 1.16. For of his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Now most people just do not know that fullness. But we have all received it. John 3.35. The father loves the son and is entrusted all things to his hand. All things. John 5, 28. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. And that happened when everyone heard the preaching of the good news, when Jesus went and descended into the grave and all heard that good news. And he led captivity captive and emptied all that were there. Ending the separation that in, was included in Sheol with the two aspects of it that were separated where we we hear that story but the reality is they're now brought together in one John 12 32 and I if I'm lifted up from the earth put on the cross will draw all people to myself now all people that doesn't leave anybody else there's a lot of alls included in a lot of the things I've said there you know and it really is important that we embrace that you know, there is a lot of alls to embrace. Every little bit there is really important that we embrace the all. Matthew 5, 18, and I want to just finish the all bit on this verse. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke of a letter shall pass from the law 
until all is accomplished. Now, this, if you look at on face value, you think, oh, heaven and earth is still here. Therefore, the law is still in place. Therefore, I must operate under the law. But actually, heaven and earth in this verse were the name given to the temple representative of the old covenant system. And when AD 70 came, heaven and earth were removed because heaven and earth was the nickname for where heaven and earth met within the Holy of Holies in the temple. And so the law passed away. We know the law has passed away because in Hebrews, it very clearly says it became obsolete and passed away. So in reality, all has been accomplished. Well, what was accomplished? The finished work of Christ has accomplished everything necessary for our full and complete salvation. Everything necessary. There is nothing left. Everything has been fulfilled in those alls. And I want to encourage you to embrace that, meditate on it, embrace the reality of all, the all inclusive, unconditional love of God for everyone and everything. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.